the other day the oldest kid came home with a uh, life proof case wasn't really sure where he got it but uh, last night we were trying to figure out why you could not talk if you talk on his phone with the life proof case everybody complains they can't hear him it sounds like he's in a tunnel so we were playing back and forth trying to figure it out looked it up on the internet and it told everybody how to do the fix you know to make it work right and uh, something about the little diaphragm in the bottom of the case for the speaker so uh, we was in the other room I had it and I tossed his phone on the floor and it broke the corner of the life proof case so I thought well there you go you get your new case now because it's guaranteed for breakage I went and took his phone out of it got on the internet and on life proof cases there's a serial number for the front half of the case and a serial number for the back half of the case you go on lifeproof.com and you fill out a claim form the back half had a serial number but the front half didn't so I put that serial number in twice and it said you must put a ver uh, a valid number in here to continue and I got to look and I'm like I wonder if this thing isn't just a fake so I you know googled how to tell if your life proof case is a fake and I just I couldn't believe how many uh, sites popped up but the first one popped up that I clicked on was geek geek something dot com dot dot co dot nu dot com dot nz and the number one thing they said was the box if you look at this life proof box right here you see the F you see the little asterisk what that is is that's the letter R circled that is the um, uh, what do they call it? Trademark. Trademark. That's trademark for life proof. Okay. That's the fake case. See what's on it? That's what he had. All right. There's about 20 examples of a fake phone. His was right on all 20. This is a real case. It has this on it. This is what his case looked like on the bottom. That's just the box. Okay. I'm not going to show you every one of these. The actual life proof case is made of rubber. The outside of it is all rubber. You can obviously tell this one is pl hard plastic. Look at the volume on and off switch. It's just a hard piece of plastic, okay? And even the nut that screws into where the, the earphone jacks, you can see the fake one has a small end and the real one has a big end. Um, here's the one I thought was funny. On a fake case, the Twitter bird doesn't has no wing or has no yeah has no feathers and has no beak. That's a fake case. Okay. Um, and you can see on the fake case. Let me turn it over. On the fake case, it has the media outlets down here on the real case it has they actually have them on the front of the case up here okay um, I'm gonna go I was trying to find a good one yeah on the side of the box the real one actually says actual size the fake one is just blank nothing there the headphone adapter the fake one has a yellow gasket. The real one has a black gasket. Um, I mean, this just goes on and on and on. Yep, I'm not even going to get into all of these like the fake one. The real one has that logo again right there, and the fake one doesn't. Um, so anyways, so I thought I printed all this out. I'm going to go up to that flea market. We're going to find this guy, and I'm going to get his money back. And that's what you'll see in the case. We scoured the whole flea market. We figured we're going to start at the top, work our way all the way to the bottom. 
every cell phone guy that was selling OtterBox and LifeProof, every one of them were fake. I went to every booth. I even stopped at one booth. There was a guy behind the counters. Obviously, I can't say for sure if he's an illegal, but spoke little to no English. Um, had a big, big spread, all kinds of cases, you know. And there was a guy over there looking at an outer box, and I walked right over to the life-proof case. It had about 20 of them laid out all nice. I picked up the life-proof case and told the guy standing there, I said, if this guy sells fake life-proof cases, I wouldn't put any stock in that outer box you're looking at right there. And that guy behind the counter didn't say a word. He just stood there. And, you know, the guy's like, well, all I really need is one clip out of it. And I said, well, you know, if you want to spend 20 bucks trying to get a clip, you know, that's up to you. And I looked at the guy and said, you're fake, ain't they? And he just held his hands up, didn't say a word, because he, he knew he was busted. I threw his case back down, you know, and walked down to the, to the guy. You'll see in this next video, I walked over to him, and uh, my wife was behind me. And I told him, I said, you know, my son bought a case here the other day, and, uh, you know, it's broke, and I want my money back. And... You know, you could see him. He took it out of the box and he looked at it and he was fixing to just get ready to say, you know, you need to warranty this with life proof. And I said, no, before you say one more word, I said, uh, you know, this is a fake case. This is going to go down two ways. You're going to give me my money back right now or I'm going to stand here all day and tell everybody that you're selling fake products. He won't sell a thing there. But I'm back up. We were we had come into the flea market and we was walking up the first main row to go up to the top, and a Blunt County Sheriff was on a golf cart behind us. We know they're there every month, and that was my goal. I called our sheriff and asked him if I find fake items at this flea market, can I get those that sheriff's department to call Homeland Security or Customs? And he said, oh yeah, he said, we can't give you the number, but they have the number they can call them. And he said, that basically, they have to call them if you find the fakes. I'm like, okay. So this guy pulls up behind us, just out of the blue, he just drives up behind us as we were in the flea market, like 200 feet. And I turned and I asked him, I said, hey, you know, we was in, my son was in here a couple weeks ago and bought this thing, and I'm gonna, I know where this guy's at if I find him. And, you know, I can prove they're fakes, which I can prove they're fakes beyond a doubt. I got this whole stack of paperwork to identify them. And I said, will you guys do anything? And he said, no, we can't do a thing. Hands are tied. He said, we know there's a lot of fake stuff in here. He said, the owner of this flea market has met with the state's attorney and Homeland Security. Now, what was it last weekend? Was this, that was last weekend that uh, Santuck was raided. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's another big flea market about 50 miles south of us that got raided. Over a hundred Homeland Security, Customs, State Troopers, and County Sheriffs went into this one flea market. They seized property from 40 plus vendors, mm -hmm. totaling 2.5 million dollars. Now when these guys go in and seize property, they take everything you're selling, fake or not, they take your watch, they take your car that you're driving. They don't care if it's brand new and you ain't even made a down payment on it. They take it. They take everything you own on the spot and then they go and seize your bank accounts. Because their philosophy is, is you sold stolen merchandise to purchase this stuff or bootleg merchandise to purchase this stuff, we're taking it. It's uh, items bought with, items bought with ill-gained goods or something like that. But anyways, You'll watch the video, and then uh, I know this is dragging on forever, but you'll see the other half of this video. It's recording. Just aim. Do not touch them buttons on the top. Uh -huh. There you go. He said, Don't touch anything. I'm not about to touch anything. 
going to give it back to me at first he's like oh no no you, you know you don't know you bought it from me it was the other guy and I'm like ah ah before you say one word and I told him these are fake they're knockoff I get thirty dollars right now or I'll stand here all day well I don't have no problems giving you your thirty dollars man and now he don't I 